But Hephaestus was、uh, taking his mother's side in an argument against his father.、Uh, his mother was Hera, his father was Zeus. And Zeus became angry with him for trying to interfere. And he was but a young child, Hephaestus. But Zeus picked him up and threw him off of Olympus. And he was terribly lamed in his leg. And yet, because he became the god of the forge, and he created so deeply and so healingly of other people's hearts and souls, he is one who's pointed out as one of those who fits to the archetype of the wounded healer. And so, paradoxically, in us, the woundings that we have, whether, you know, neglect is a kind of wounding, you understand.、Uh, but also, illness is a kind of wounding. Injury is a kind of wounding. Having accidents that injure us, that's a kind of wounding. These, in some way, cause us to rise up in our most warrior like spirit, to struggle against any spiritual bleed out. To launch ourselves against riding downward into a despairing heart. Paradoxically, wounding actually brings life, new life, fierce life. Life of the soldado, of the warrior soldier. And this quality is in the wounded healer. The wounded healer is definitely a warrior who continues on regardless. Regardless of La Baja, the casualties that it experiences, there is a, one that is in,、um, no matter what the sangriento is, the bloodiness of whatever the injury,、uh, whatever the assault, the, this center of the psyche that we call wounded healer asserts itself more and more in order to make progress, in order to create strength. In order to heal and mend. So, Scar Clan is made of tribal members who cry out, and the wounded healer, the soul, hears and comes. But of course, we have to recognize the wounded healer in all its many forms because it will do this one act over and over. It will create an allyship between the body, the soul, the mind, the heart. And the spirit, in order that the body consort be healed, it will create an allyship. The wounded healer will not leave any part out, not the body from the soul, the soul from the mind, the mind from the heart, the heart from the spirit. The wounded healer takes all into account. Scar Clan includes those who have suffered being in the midst of others' sufferings. And yet they've managed to maintain strength and sanity and deep heart, despite any lack of sanity <laughs> or deep heart by others, for others. Also, a Scar Clan membership comes to those whose hearts have been carved deeper by registering fully the nearness of death, the nearness of muerte. The nearness of the possibility that one has come so close to no longer being alive. And it includes those whose hearts have been opened literally and written upon by those deep experiences that can be gotten no other way, no other way, and that they face them instead of turning away, that they have placed themselves in the knowledge of the numinosity of being near death. And have refused to put their heads in the sand over it all. So that despite certain frailties that certainly come from scar tissue aching at unpredictable times, the person is firmly set upon the compassionate heart path, para vida, for life, for life. And I leaned through the window of my bathroom mirror and I touched her old cracked face. And I soothed her black hair with fire opals and its strands of white. And I, I saw 
as I leaned in the permanent diamonds in her tear ducts, those gotten from years of use and pressure in dark places, and I gazed at the body she and I share, and I saw, I saw that rubies had grown into all my cuts, and that tiny mirrors show in all my witters and spalls, and I saw that I was old and strong and delicate and fierce like a queen who has ruled the lands within her reach, not not perfectly, but despite brutal winters, she was still alive. The heartwood hardened off just enough, the tender capillary is still able to carry the juice and the warmth. And then, twenty-some years later, I crossed the crone line, wearing the tissue paper crown with the sacred words still standing engraved upon it. These words of triumph for all of us elders, these words still standing. They're the ultimate royal, ha! The ultimate para vida, ha! To life, with life, all of life, filled with life. Us, crossed now, the crone line, para la vida, filled with life. Thank you.